Aishar Electric Bus Familiarization Introduction The electric vehicle is a new concept in the world of automotive industry. The electric vehicle helps in reducing pollution by having zero tailpipe emissions. An electric vehicle is an alternative fuel automobile that uses batteries, electric motor and motor controller for propulsion in place of more common propulsion methods of CNG and diesel engine. About Electric Vehicle Electric vehicles are powered by electric energy stored in a high-voltage lithium-ion battery. Electric vehicle batteries require charging. The electricity is taken from electric vehicle charging station that power an electric motor, which helps to move the vehicle. Advantages and features of Aisha electric buses Low maintenance and running cost compared to CNG and diesel engine vehicles because of less moving parts. Zero emission vehicle, hence eco-friendly environment. Better performance with long-lasting batteries. Maximum vehicle speed is up to 70 to 75 kilometers per hour. Less noise pollution with silent operation of motor. Fast battery charging port provided with mechanical safety lock. Stress-free driving due to no gear lever and clutch pedal. Better comfort with front and rear air suspension. Fire detection and suppression system for passenger and vehicle safety. Electric air conditioning system for passenger comfort. Intelligent transport system for passenger information. Pneumatic door closure system. Reverse parking assist system for safety while reversing. And My Aisha Live system for vehicle running status and vehicle information. Familiarization of electric vehicle system and components. Electric vehicle components fitted on vehicle roof. High voltage batteries. Junction box. Battery chiller or battery cooling system. And electric air conditioning system. Electric vehicle components fitted on the vehicle chassis. Power distribution unit. Traction motor controller Traction motor Auxiliary controller Electric steering pump Electric air compressor Coolant pump and radiator Vehicle charging controller and charging port High voltage power cables, orange color. Vehicle management unit, VMU, ECU. Multi string controllers. Emergency switch. Push button shift selector or gear shifter. Function of electric vehicle components fitted on vehicle roof. High voltage battery. Two high voltage batteries provided in the vehicle. High voltage battery consists of multiple lithium ion modules and cells, which are connected in series structure to get the optimum voltage of 650 volts and power of 204 kilowatt hour. Each battery power rating is 102 kilowatt hour to get the desired output voltage of 650 volts per pack. Junction Box Junction Box is provided to connect the high voltage battery pack in parallel. It also transmits power supply to PDU, AC system and battery chiller. It consists of high voltage safety fuses and contactors. Battery Chiller the battery chiller is a cooling system used for controlling the temperature of battery pack within given limits. The hot coolant from the battery pack flows inside the chiller which is 
cooled inside the chiller and sent back into the battery pack and it receives high voltage DC supply from junction box. Electrical Air Conditioning System EV AC system provides air circulation, ventilation, air filtration and humidity control for passenger comfort and it receives high voltage DC supply from junction box. Function of electric vehicle components fitted on vehicle chassis PDU or power distribution unit It consists of bus bars, high voltage safety fuses and contactors. Power distribution unit receives high voltage DC supply from junction box and distributes to traction controller, aux controller during discharging cycle and during charging cycle it receives DC power supply from battery charger and sent to battery through junction box. Traction motor controller It receives high voltage DC supply from power distribution unit and converts it into AC power supply. The traction controller drives the traction motor as per VMU ECU input, basis gear mode selection, accelerator and brake pedal position. Traction motor It receives high voltage AC supply from traction controller and generates high torque with variable speed using variable current. Auxiliary controller Auxiliary controller system works as an inverter which helps to drive the air compressor and steering motor and works as a DC to DC step down converter to charge the low voltage battery. Electric steering pump Electric power steering pump helps to achieve the vehicle power steering functionality. This pump provides the required amount of oil and pressure for operating the hydraulic steering system. It is mounted on the vehicle with the help of four shock pads and it will receive high voltage AC supply from auxiliary controller. Electric Air Compressor The air compressor is powered by AC electric motor. It provides compressed air for brakes air suspension and pneumatic door applications and it will receive high voltage AC supply from auxiliary controller. Coolant pump and radiator Coolant pump is operated through vehicle low voltage system that is 24 volts. It circulates coolant through radiator for cooling traction motor, traction controller and auxiliary controller. The coolant used is of 50% water and 50% ethylene glycol. Vehicle Charging Port Charging port is given as the receiver port of electricity coming through battery charger. It is a GBT and CCS that is combined charging system compatible charging port. It is equipped with mechanical safety lock. Note. CCS port is not available in Aishar buses. High voltage power cables. Bipolar high voltage orange color cables are provided to distribute high voltage power supply to various electric vehicle components. Vehicle Management Unit VMU ECU. It operates through vehicle 24 volt system. It's a main vehicle control unit which controls multiple controllers of vehicle using multiple CAN lines. CAN 1 Communication CAN 2 Communication CAN 3 Communication
can for communication multi string controller it also operates through the vehicle 24 volt system it is a communication interface between battery management controllers and other electrical components emergency switch emergency switch is used to stop the vehicle in emergency condition push button shift selector or gear selection push button shift selector is used to drive the vehicle in the forward and reverse direction there are three modes provided in the pbss pad d mode for driving vehicle in forward direction n mode to bring vehicle into neutral position and r mode for driving vehicle in reverse direction note these modes are not applicable in iser vehicles when changing driving modes brake pedal should be in pressed condition battery charging system whenever low hv battery warning indication displays in the instrument cluster vehicle batteries need to be recharged to charge the high voltage batteries charging port is provided at the right hand side of the vehicle battery charging procedure ensure parking brake is applied and vehicle is in neutral condition turn on the ignition key open the flap of the charging port connect the charging plug holder into charging port note make sure charge connector is locked perfectly if the connection is perfect charging plug lamp will blink in the instrument cluster when charging lamp will be continuously on it means battery is fully charged remove the charging socket after complete charging thank you for watching